सेंट ऑगस्टीन ऑगस्टाइन हु लिव ड्यूरिंग द डिक्लाइनिंग ईयर्स ऑफ द रोमन एम्पायर वॉज द ग्रेटेस्ट थियोलॉजी ऑफ इस एरा हिज राइटिंग्स प्रोफाउंडली इन्फ्लुएंस क्रिश्चियन डॉक्ट्रींस एंड एटीट्यूड्स थ्रू आउट द मिडल एजेस एंड इंडीड स्टिल हैव इन्फ्लुएंस टूडे Augustine was born in 354 in the town of Tagaste now in Algeria about 45 miles south of the large coastal town of Hippo now Enaba his father was a pagan his mother a devout christian he was not baptized as an infant even in his adolescence augustine's intelligence was impressive and at 16 he was sent to Carthage to study there he took a mistress and had an illegitimate child at 19 he decided to study philosophy he soon converted to manichaeism the religion founded about 240 by the prophet mani to the young augustine christianity seemed unsophisticated while manichaeism appealed to his reason however over the course of the next 9 years he gradually became disillusioned with manichaeism When Augustine was 29 he moved to Rome a bit later he moved to Milan in northern Italy where he became a professor of rhetoric there he became familiar with neo plato platonism a modified version of plato's philosophy that had been developed by Plotin, plotinus in the 3rd century the bishop in milan at that time was saint ambrose Augustine listened to some of his sermons which introduced him to a new more sophisticated aspect of Christianity at the age of 32 Augustine was converted and the one time skeptic became an ardent proponent of Christianity in 387 Augustine was baptized by Ambrose and soon thereafter he returned home to Tagaste in 391 Augustine became the assistant to the bishop of Hippo Five years later, the bishop died, and Augustine, then forty-two years old, became the new bishop of Hippo. He remained at that post for the rest of his life. Although Hippo was not an important city, Augustine's brilliance was so obvious that he soon became one of the most respected leaders in the church. Although he had a weak constitution, with the help of stenographers, he was able to compose a large number of religious writings. About five hundred of his sermons survive. as do more than 200 of his letters of his books the two most famous and influential are the city of god and his confessions the latter which is one of the most famous autobiographies ever written was composed when he was in his 40s many of augustine's letters and sermons are devoted to refuting the beliefs of the manichaeans the donanist and the pelagians His dispute with the Pelagians forms an important part of Augustine's religious doctrines. Pelagius was an English monk who came to Rome about 400 and there expounded several interesting theological doctrines. We are each Pelagius claimed without original sin and are free to choose good or evil. By righteous living and good works an individual can attain salvation. partly through the influence of st augustine's writings the views of Pel- pelagius was declared heretical and pelagius himself who had already been banished from rome was excommunicated according to augustine all men are stained with adam's sin human beings are unable to attain salvation solely through their own efforts and good works the grace of god is necessary for salvation similar ideas had been expressed previously However Augustine amplified the earlier statements and his writings solidified the church's position on these points which thereafter became fixed Augustine maintained that God already knows who will be saved and who will not and that some of us are therefore predestined to be saved This idea of predestination was to greatly influence later theologians such as St Thomas Aquinas and John Calvin probably even more important than the doctrine of predestination were saint augustine's attitudes concerning sex when he converted to christianity augustine had decided that it was necessary for him to renounce sex 
Ivan's wrote nothing is so much to be shunned as sex relations however the actual renunciation proved quite difficult for saint augustine both his personal struggle and his views on the subject are described at some length in his confessions the views he expressed there because of saint because of augustine's great reputation exerted a strong influence upon medieval attitudes towards sex augustine's writings also linked together the notion of original sin and sexual desire During Augustine's life the Roman Empire was rapidly declining. In fact in 410 the city of Rome was sacked by the Visigoths under Alaric. Naturally the remaining Roman pagans claimed that the Romans were thereby being punished for their desertion of their ancient gods in favor of Christianity. Saint Augustine's most famous book The City of God is in part a defense of Christianity against that charge. However, the book also includes an entire philosophy of history, one that was to have considerable influence upon later developments in Europe. Augustine expressed the view that the Roman Empire was not of any basic importance, nor was the city of Rome, nor any earthly city. what was really important was the growth of the heavenly city in other words the spiritual progress of mankind the vehicle for this progress was of course the church there is no salvation outside the church it therefore followed that emperors whether pagan or christian or barbarian were not as important as the pope and the church were although augustine himself did not take the final step The thrust of his argument leads easily to the conclusion that temporal ru- rulers should be subordinate to the pope. Medieval popes were glad to draw that conclusion from Augustine, and his doctrines therefore laid the formula- foundation for the long conflict between church and state that was to characterize European history for many centuries. Augustine writings were a factor in the transmission of certain aspects of Greek Greek philosophy to medieval Europe in particular neoplatonism strongly influenced Augustine's mature thought and through Augustine it influenced medieval Christian philosophy it is also interesting to note that Augustine expressed the idea behind Descartes famous statement i think therefore i am though in different words of course Augustine was the last great Christian theologian before the dark ages and his writings left church doctrine in all its major outlines in roughly the form it was to keep throughout the middle ages he was the most eminent of the latin church fathers and his writings were widely read by the clergy his views on salvation sex original sin and many other points were correspondingly influential many later catholic theologians such as saint thomas aquinas as well as protestant leaders such as luther and calvin were strongly influenced by him augustine died in hippo in 430 ad in his 76th year the vandals one of the barbarian tribes which had invaded the, did the disintegrating roman empire were besieging hippo at the time a few months later they captured the town and burned most of it however augustine's library and the cathedral escaped destruction